Hey, what's happening? Southern Handyman. I'm down here in North Georgia. My dad's house. Hurricane Helene went through here and knocked down about eight trees on the property. And one of them fell on the house. It was a glancing blow. But it did some damage. Now, I know that there's places that have gotten so much more damage than this place. So I'm not trying to take away from any of that. Western North Carolina and South Carolina. Whew. Coming through there was a nightmare. And then, of course, Florida, Georgia, Alabama. There's plenty of damage to go around and a lot worse than this. But uh, one lucky person in this house for sure. I'm going to show you some of the damage and take you around and look at the trees. And then we're going to get, uh, get this mess cleaned up. I just built this fence, you might know, from a video that I had out <laughs> just a few months ago. This tree here fell on the house. It's about, mm, about 50, fit, 50 foot tall. And here's, the, here's the, some of the damage. I had to get up there last night in the dark. I would have videoed it, but it was dark, so you wouldn't have been able to see nothing. But. There's damage to the house. This is what I gotta fix. I'm not fixing it today, obviously, but I am gonna get this cleaned up and get out of here. I gotta get that fence repaired because the whole reason we made the fence was so the dogs could run around in the yard. And, you know, do their business. There's two trees down right there. I couldn't even get in here all the way in here last night when I got here because the driveway's covered up. Those two trees are down. Tree right here down. This is the driveway. Between those two trees standing right here, that's all driveway. So these two trees need cut up at least cleared off the drive this is a root from this big giant that thing's about mm, from from grade it's about seven feet tall total it's more like eight to nine it's more like nine feet from down at the bottom of the hole to up there but this is a root coming down through here and um it's still, still connected right there. Come out here. Oh, look. Somebody got disturbed. He's a survivor. Both of them, apparently. Surviving. Hi, little feller. Looking for a new house? Alright, well, I'm going to let you get at it. That is a... That's about... That hole is three to four feet deep, right there. This tree goes down here, and it took out that tree right there. You see that root ball there? This tree hit that tree and knocked it down. And it bent that tree over, as you can see, tore it up. Oh, looks like it broke this one. It, it uh, took the one tree down and broke that one. See, there's a... That one's broken. Goes back in there. So that tree, that one tree right there took out one, two, three, four trees that we can see. This tree here that's down... Uh, that tree is probably 60 to 75 feet tall. There's another one back there. And this root ball here, ugh, it's gigantic.
this tree right here is uh it's two feet across every bit of two feet across big tree That is a massive root ball that got tore out right here. I'm here to tell you. A lot of roots. And this driveway loops down here. Uh, it's, it's like a, it's got a loop on it and then it's got an area that goes straight through up to the house. This is, this is, this is big. That's probably 12, 14 feet across. Old oak tree. This is the first time anybody's been down here to look at this mess. Squirrel down there. I'm trying to keep an eye out up there in case there's other limbs that haven't fallen yet. And this is a smaller root ball. It's about seven feet tall up to that top root. The ball itself is about six. This went right over here. Looks like it hit the shooting, the shooting shack. Just caught the front edge of it there. Oh yeah, pulled the inboard off. Just came all the way over here. It did some damage to that tree. Didn't knock it over. That was a pretty big tree too. This work is not all going to get There's done a lot today. Of work here. I'm here to get the driveway cleared and and um, get that area on the back side of the house there cleaned up. Insurance guys coming tomorrow. I might stay for that. I don't know. We'll see. So there's an assessment of it. There's trees down everywhere. All right, so we're in the backyard. We got air conditioning unit behind that white fence. I don't know how this big tree missed it, but it did, it's running. We'll get a closer look at it here shortly. This tree come down, destroyed that fence right in there. And um, this, all that. So I'm gonna get this stuff cut up and get it out of here. And uh, we'll move on from there. There ain't a chainsaw available for a hundred miles or more.
good little saw. Uh, it's only 24 volt, but it's, uh, it's, um, 12 inch bar. It cuts really nice. Pretty good little lemon saw, I guess. made out of lead it's an oak tree so I guess you know shouldn't be too surprised at how heavy it is all right see this little, this little dent right there that damage right there that was caused from the tree coming across the peak coming down hitting that antenna that thing's facing obviously you can see it's facing the wrong way hitting that and twisting it around and then hitting coming around and hitting that that uh, fascia and then you can see there's damage here you can see the the curvature right there, about two thirds, 75% of the way up there. It's right there. That's broken, which means this may have to replace this whole eave over here, or we might be able to scab something in right there. But all of it down through there is destroyed. Siding underneath the uh, those things. <laughs> I'm just having a brain fart on those things today. The shutters 
and uh, then we got I got all this cleaned up now I know I know I didn't have all you here to tell me how to do that but it's a temporary <clears throat> we'll get that all done later it just needs to keep the dogs in for now so but we got that tree cut back to there that's about mm, about 18 inches around right there and down at the base it's about two feet there's a big pile of debris that we chopped off of there, off the roof and out of this area. And there's more here. We'll get all that squared away. There's the housing debris over there. But uh, it's a pretty nasty looking mess right there, honestly. And uh, hopefully, you know, we can get that taken care of rather quickly. AC units seem to have survived. She's been running. There's no real damage to it that, that's I don't visible. See any obvious damage to this grate here, the grill, or the panels outside of it. What kind is this? What kind of unit we got here? So we got it's a train. Taken care of. We got like I say, got all cleaned up. And then we got this. She's a mess. I got that tarp over it. I'm gonna have to pull that corner down and strap it down here make sure it doesn't blow off but the adjusters got to look at it somehow so I'll uh, I'll figure all that out so but you can see right above the window right there the, the header's gone board across it's gone you see one over there see that board in there it's gone It did a number on the house for no more than it hit. It did a number on it. All right. So that's that. That's the tour, grand tour. Nine trees down total. A lot of work here. A lot of work. But I gotta tell you, I know that this is in the big picture. This is minor damage. Minor damage. Uh, the Carolina, North Carolina, and Western South Carolina, other parts of Georgia, Alabama, got hammered. And uh, I'm going to take away from them. I know. I know that uh, there are people still right now with, with um, no power, no water, nothing. And, uh, you know, our prayers continue to go out for those people. And I hope they get help and relief soon. Because uh, that storm did a number. I'm telling you what. This here, easy stuff. Was no real flooding here or nothing. But just an inconvenience. And they're elderly people. So it's more, it's important. But again, no lives were lost here. And uh, we're just thankful that uh, it wasn't worse. Till the next time, I'll see ya.